Hello friends, are you a die-hard PC gamer who loves to game on PC, but sometimes you want to just sit back on the couch and use a regular gaming controller? You've looked online for something that still has the functionality of a mouse, but the comfort of a controller when you can't find anything? Today I'm reviewing the Steam Controller. I'm going to let you know the pros and cons of this controller and whether or not it's worth your hard-earned money. Stay tuned friends! Hello guys, it's GeoDude Reviews. Today I have another review for you, and today's review is actually going to be the Steam Controller. Yes, the Steam Controller. What can I say about this controller? Any of us that have ever been online, um, on Steam that is, are very familiar with this controller. It's constantly advertised. But is it really worth the $60 price tag? Let's take a deep dive and find out. Well, first of all, um, most of us are familiar with the Xbox controller, or the Xbox 360 controller, and the Xbox One controller. Those are the actual go-to controllers for anyone that loves to PC game on a controller. However, the Steam controller tried to offer something a little bit different. They thought they could completely reinvent the wheel, and they decided not to only add the functionality of a regular controller, but they also wanted to add mouse functionality, which is unheard of. But through all that hustle and through all the grind, did they actually nail it? Well, I'm here to tell you with a definitive answer, the ultimate answer is no, they did not. I'm sorry to report. Anyone that is new to the channel um, knows that I review products and for the most part, I give them a fairly good review. But the Steam Controller is just something I cannot recommend to anyone on the market right now that's looking for a controller. Honestly, this thing is an absolute mess. It's not worth the money. I mean, what they tried to do here um, was unique. It's something that's never been done before. But unfortunately, they failed miserably. So let me explain. The Steam Controller starts off, it has an absolute beautiful, comfortable grip. Whether you have big hands or small hands, this controller just feels great no matter who's holding it. But the biggest issue and the biggest downfall that caused this controller to get a miserable, miserable grade, and multiple reviewers gave it a terrible score as well, but the biggest issue is they tried to nail the mouse functionality on the right side right here. And it's just so inconsistent, I'm sorry to say. This thing is is just bad, what can I say? Um, so you try to scroll, um, there are certain games that you need a mouse and keyboard. A perfect example of that is PUBG. If you play PUBG on Steam, there's no way you can really navigate that game well enough without having some kind of mouse and keyboard. It's that simple. So imagine trying to play PUBG on an Xbox 360 controller. Now imagine trying to play PUBG on a Steam controller. Quickly managing your inventory, quickly tossing items that you need, and dealing with this mess right here. Um, it is incredibly flimsy, very inconsistent, very inaccurate, and it's probably the worst part of this controller. As unique as it tried to be, it just is absolute garbage. But it's not bad enough that it has a terrible mouse um, uh, wheel, in a way. What make To make matters worse is that it's supposed to have a gamepad too, um, like a D-pad, like most controllers have, whether it's a Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller or a Nintendo Switch controller, they all have a D-pad right here. And this is supposed to be the D-pad. Let me zoom in right there for you. Right there. This is supposed to be the D-pad. And that is another thing they mi failed miserably in. It's just awful as well. But it just keeps getting worse. It's, we're just gonna keep adding on to this, sorry. I don't want to beat someone when they're down, but this is really bad. So it had also attempted to have the same button layout as the Xbox controller. Oh my gosh, the heads just keep on it. Now, here are the buttons. And they all seem like they're in good place, but they're incredibly small buttons. 
I mean, super small. I have average uh, thumb size, uh, average thumbs size with size wise, but this it feels like I'm 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 hitting like some kind of like pin buttons. That's how tiny they are, and um, I just want to add another one. Okay, this is the last one, but this joy um, joystick right here is god awful as well. Jesus Christ. One thing I will say, and the only positive I can say about this controller, is that they completely nailed the triggers. The triggers feel absolutely outstanding. They're awesome, very responsive, and that's the best part. Another good thing that they nailed is um, some of you might be familiar with SCUP controllers. SCUP controllers are controllers made for consoles, and they have paddles paddle shifters and they're usually in the back of the controller. Um, Steam actually has its own paddles back here, much like SCUP controllers. That feels absolutely amazing. Great paddle functionality and um, like I said, the triggers are great. The LB and the RB are also solid. Not great, but solid. But um, when I, I kind of like Put everything together and trim the fat and put it all on the table i just honestly i can't recommend this product for anyone that's on the market for a controller for their pc if i had to give it a score i would honestly give it a five out of ten and that's being very generous the only thing saving it is once again those paddles back here and the good triggers that it has other than that you will not be doing your you're going to be doing yourself a disservice trying to attempt to scroll a mouse wheel with this thing. This thing is absolutely awful. There, there's a reason I believe this past Black Friday it was um, it was on sale for about twenty bucks, and again it retails for sixty bucks. So it just tells you what what it's all about. But yeah, guys, that's my review for the Steam controller. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, you can thumb it up. You can subscribe. You can comment. I really appreciate you guys. We're doing great work this 2020. We're going to keep pushing forward. And I love you guys. Stay tuned for the next video. All right now, take care.